The depths, vastness, and strength can be intimidating. Who knows what the ocean's pure waters hold? Exploring the depths of the ocean reveals things that turn out to be man-made. Let's imagine there's something beautiful buried away underneath. More than 80% of the deep water is unmapped, unknown, and unexplored. Therefore, there is plenty to learn. Let's dive into the 15 most terrifying objects found in the deep sea. Number 15. Lake Nucatel Shark Statue This is quite chilling. Lake Nucatel, in French-speaking Switzerland, is a famous diving destination among European divers. Still, we were unable to find any leads about the actual shark statue. It's pretty disturbing to think that the shark statue ended up for reasons nobody can explain. And this film adds to the tension. However, Switzerland is a popular diving destination year-round, especially during the colder months. At 84 square miles, Lake Nucatel is the 59th biggest lake in Europe, and the largest lake in Switzerland. The Theo River flows into it from the southwest, and out of it in the northwest. Most people live around the lake's northwestern coast, where the hills are planted with vines. Yet no one seems to know who dumped the sculpture in the water. Do you consider yourself to be the Swiss Banksy? Do you have any more submerged works of horror to your credit? Number 14. The Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon Truck Lagoon, Caroline Island is Ghost Fleet's headquarters. American allies destroyed 250 planes and 50 ships in Japan during World War II, and 400 Japanese troops were imprisoned when their boat sank. Before the late 1960s, much of the fleet remained unknown. 1969's Lagoon of Lost Ships featured submerged ship remnants. Since divers brought attention to the area, Japan has since retrieved and buried many of the dead. Divers frequently wonder if they're accompanied by the shipwreck victim's souls. After enough wreck dives, you'll hear horror stories. Some felt uncomfortable and saw something unintelligible. Number 13. The SS Thistlegorm The SS Thistlegorm sank in 1941 near the Gulf of Suez, provisioning the Alexandria-based British Fifth Army. You'll see APCs, motorbikes, jeeps, trucks, airplane parts, firearms, radio equipment, and Wellington boots during your dive. The Thistlegorm is a wreck diver's dream, and one of the top fish dives in the area because it attracts enormous predatory fish, including gigantic tuna, snappers, and schools of barracuda. Our excursions must begin early. After breakfast, you'll undertake two wreck dives that Jacques Cousteau and local fishermen discovered in the 1950s. He dug up a motorcycle, captain's safe, and a ship's bell. National Geographic's February 1956 edition shows Cousteau's divers in the ship's lantern hall. Castell's The Living Sea describes wreck diving. Number 12. Ocean Atlas Jason DeCare Taylor erected Ocean Atlas in the Crystal Bohemian in 2014. The structure encourages coral colonization and discourages reef visitors. To promote coral development, pH-neutral materials were collected. The massive public monument Ocean Atlas was submerged 5 meters below the waves as an environmental gesture. The 18-foot, 60-ton sculpture off New Providence is the world's highest underwater sanctuary. The female in the artwork looks laboring under a heavy weight, fitting for a figure named after the Greek god of carrying the sky. This sculpture was made with a pH-neutral cement that will promote reef life. His artworks create reefs where none were, drawing divers away from busy spots. Number 11. Atlif Yam Submerged ruins of Atlit Yam can be located in the Mediterranean Sea near Atlit Israel. The sandy bottom protected the odd stone circle and the human bones from the 7th millennium BC hamlet. Atlit Yam is 16 to 40 feet deep and 40,000 square meters wide. Since its discovery in 1984 by marine archaeologist Ahud Galilee, the site has been the subject of extensive underwater excavations, which has revealed a large number of dwellings, stone-built water wells, and a series of long, unconnected walls. It also showed ritual installations, stone-paved areas, a megalithic structure, thousands of plant and animal remains, dozens of human remains, and numerous stone, bone, wood, and flint artifacts. This site reveals a Neolithic period when humans first domesticated plants and animals. Number 10. The Sea of Galilee Structure Several enigmatic constructions, including a giant stone wheel and a moon-shaped monument, were recently discovered in northern Israel. Archaeologists are baffled by the buildings. They're Israel's most mysterious structures, so why were they built? They're hard to spot from the road, but visible above or below. Archaeologists don't know who created the prehistoric stone structures of Gilgal Raphaim, Jethro Kareen, and the circular construction in the Sea of Galilee in the disputed Golan and Galilee. Theories include ancient calendars, ceremonial buildings, 
and sky burial places where dead remains were eaten by vultures. Age estimates range from 3,000 to 12,000 years ago. They're older than Giza and Stonehenge. Number 9. Christ of the Abyss You've undoubtedly seen a photo of a Christ statue deep in the ocean and wondered where it is. There are more Christ of the Abyss sculptures underwater than you may suppose. Christ of the Abyss is submerged in San Fructuoso near Portofino. The bronze statue was erected on the seabed on August 22, 1954 by a famed Italian diver who wished to place a monument of Jesus after the death of his buddy a few years earlier at the site. Guido Galletti designed an 8-foot-tall, 600-pound monument. It was recently renovated to prevent corrosion and fouling and reconnect the anchor detached hand. The Christ of the Abyss is a popular diving site. Number 8. The Yonaguni Monument In 1987, a local dive instructor discovered something more fascinating than the hammerhead shark swimming around. Just below the water surface of Yonaguni Gemma are the stone buildings that made up the sunken ruins of a Japanese Atlantis. The city was buried by the sea some 2,000 years ago due to an earthquake. He discovered this underwater rock structure while hunting for new spots to take his clients. A massive cliff face had been chiseled away to reveal a sequence of substantial geometric terraces with flat horizontal planes and pointed stone risers. This location is the inspiration for the name Yonaguni. It's been determined by geologists to be a natural occurrence. The Yonaguni sandstones are made up from multiple separate parallel bedding planes, making the layers easier to tear apart. The rocks of this family are characterized by the presence of joints that can be found both horizontally and vertically. These joints commonly occur in the body, a succession of parallel fractures likely caused a region to take on a rectangular form. Yonaguni is on an earthquake fault. Thus, it may be the answer to all our problems. Number 7. MS Zenobia In May 1980, MS Zenobia left Malmo, Sweden, for Syria. Too much ballast water made the ship hard to maneuver while hauling tractors, trailers, and other items between Athens and Cyprus. The skipper pumped it out and continued to Cyprus. As the ship's list developed, the skipper pulled it out of the harbor to avoid an obstruction if it sank. Five days after docking, it sunk in Larnaca Bay with its cargo. Aside from the tragic collapse of the state-of-the-art ferry, the question is why no inquiry was ever made. Despite her intrinsic worth and a $234 million load, the owners never attempted to collect the insurance. The Zenobia Wreck is a great diving destination. Number 6. Musa, Mexico Cancun, Mexico in the Yucatan Peninsula overlooks the Caribbean Sea. The city is home to an underwater museum. In 2008, British artist Jason DeCare Taylor and a few local Mexican artists came up with the idea of creating the Cancun Underwater Art Museum, or Musa to preserve the local marine life by diverting tourists away from the surrounding natural but endangered reefs of Mexico. The sculptors offer a safe haven for coral, fish, and other marine life, transforming the museum's roughly 1,300-square-foot display into a living, breathing exhibition over time. The museum's two halves are separated by a great distance, several kilometers. The group constructed a statue-specific hoist to lower the statues to the sea floor. Some were so heavy that lift bags were used to reduce them into the sea. Nearly 750,000 visitors go to the Cancun Underwater Museum, also known as the Museo Sobatico de Arte Number 5. The San Jose Shipwreck San Jose caught fire off of Cartagena, Colombia in 1708. The 62-gun galleon fled into the night after battling the British all afternoon. Nearly 600 people died, and priceless metals and stones were lost. In 2015, the Colombian government announced that the San Jose galleon had been found. San Jose's riches were under dispute. The Colombian government has stayed silent about the mythical galleon, called the Holy Grail of Shipwrecks. The actual treasure ship has long intrigued people. In Gabriel Garcia Marquez's Love in the Time of Calera, Florentino Ariza plans to recapture San Jose's treasures for his love. Number 4. The Plastic Bag An American explorer searching for a new, profound dive record found a rubbish bag on the ocean floor. Victor Vescovo reached the ocean's lowest point seven miles down. In a deep-sea submersible, he spent four hours exploring the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. His discovery included a plastic bag and food wrappers. The Mariana Trench, which stretches 36 degrees into the Pacific Ocean, is not immune to plastic contamination. The lowest piece of plastic trash ever recovered was a supermarket bag. 
Plastic bags dominated other garbage. Rubber, metal, wood, and cloth made up the other trash. 89% of the plastic was single use. Number 3. The Locomotive Graveyard Paul Helper accidentally discovered the New Jersey Rail Graveyard in 1985. He noticed two trains while surveying the ocean floor. Experts observed trains lying in murky water. The locomotives were rare Planet Class 222Ts, a model that was immediately outmoded after its debut. Self-sufficient 15-ton locomotives, these two steam engines sank for a mysterious reason. On its route from Boston to the Mid-Atlantic, the barge carrying the locomotives struck a storm five miles off Long Branch. The engines either fell off the barge during the storm or were pushed off to preserve the ship. Despite this, they are well kept. Number 2. The Antikythera Mechanism An archaeologist sorted through a 2,000-year-old shipwreck off the coast of a Greek island 115 years ago. Stunning vases and pots, jewelry, a bronze figure of an ancient philosopher, and a set of brass gears and dials in a mantle clock-sized box were on exhibit. Archaeologists call it the Antikythera Mechanism. Astronomers in 1959 deduced from the mechanism's gears that it predicted a monthly motions of planets and stars. Ancient festivals like the Olympics utilized it to chart the seasons. A dial on the calendar showed the seasons, which was beneficial for farming. The Antikythera Mechanism's designer added two revolving dials to depict lunar and solar eclipses. The mechanism's most complicated aspect was the lunar calculations, which simulate the moon's elliptical orbit and compute its period. Lastly, number 1. The Baltic Sea Anomaly The Baltic Sea Anomaly is one of the most bizarre deep-sea findings in the last 10 years. Ocean X identified a strange structure 300 feet below the ocean surface near Sweden in 2011. The anomaly was detected due to its straight projections and circular shape. The long path added mystery. Some say this proves a crash landing. A geologist from Stockholm University analyzed the rocks brought back by divers and discovered no alien life. The Baltic Sea covers a glacial basin, therefore, most stones were of average size and form. Most experts agree that the building isn't man-made. The site's strange technological issues have intrigued conspiracy theorists since its discovery. So, which among these was most terrifying to you? Do you know of or have you had any encounters like these? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. As always, we'll see you next time, only here on Quest.